The former Prosecutor General was in court on Tuesday, but this time Saeed Mortazavi wasn't in charge. Instead, he was defending himself. Political analysts say it's the first time in recent history someone so powerful has faced such serious criminal charges in Iran. No matter what the verdict be, no matter what the result of the trial be, uh, the, uh, the very fact that he is on trial, I think it's uh, very significant. The case relates to the disputed 2009 presidential election in which Mortazavi's ally, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, retained the presidency. But millions protested against the result, dozens were killed and thousands arrested. Many were taken to the now closed Karazak detention facility, where at least three people died, including a conservative politician's son. A parliamentary investigation found the men had died from a limitation of space, ventilation and as a result of physical attacks. Mortazavi was in charge of the prison and said the detainees had died from meningitis. He is charged with ordering his employees to falsify death certificates. He is also charged with accessory to murder and of falsely arresting other protesters. Said Mortazavi was named Tehran's Prosecutor General in 2003, but before that he was a judge known for closing down newspapers, jailing journalists and intellectuals. But when the so-called Karazak killings came to light, he was removed from his post. But there are criticisms over why it's taken so long to bring him to court. Because he has been uh, a very influential person, he has been a very powerful person, and he has uh, served, he has done a lot for the conservatives uh, during the past two decades, uh, not only Ahmadinejad. The case continues and for Iranians, so does the interest, as the former prosecutor finally faces his accusers. Soraya Leni, Al Jazeera, Tehran.